This is how to disassemble a SEF semi-automatic drum pack. First, move the selector to the vertical spot, and then freely pull out. Grab on your hammer, the pack will slide out of the frame, set the frame and selector aside. You'll need a small punch. You won't need a hammer, just hand force. First, I start by taking out the ejector pin, which is right here. Just push a little from the inside, pops out. Your ejector will then lift out of the frame. Also, don't forget your little ejector spring there. So it is get easily lost. Take the ejector spring, ejector, and axis pin. Set them aside. And that's done. Next, I remove the hammer. Start by taking your uh, pin, press, pressing out the hammer pin, which is this one right here. It's the top one, large one. Keep your thumb on top of the hammer just because there will be tension on it. Push your pin all the way through. Sometimes it's easier one way or another on certain packs. There it goes. As you see, it pops out. The hammer, the strut, and the spring will pop out. Again, this is a 9mm spring. I have this gun set up for my Dakota Tactical D54P. Set that aside. Remove the pin from the frame. I just set these in here so I don't get lost. Next. I un take the sear roller out, which is this spring here. Note the orientation, how the end of the spring sits over the uh, hammer axis holes. So again, just take your pin, press down on the sear roller. Again, sometimes these are easier one way than the other. Uh, take your pin, push through, pull the pin out, pull the sear roller spring out. As you can see, it's kind of a weird spring, getting the orientation. Make sure you look at it before you pull it out. It's not impossible to figure out, but the first time I ever did, it took me a minute to get it right. Set that aside. Now all you have left is the actual primary sear and your trigger. Best bet is to find the hammer, or the trigger spring, rather. Unhook it from the top of the pin, therefore you lose all tension. And the, the trigger now will float freely. Press on it, press the pin. Sear will fall out the top. Again, note the orientation. This will sit in the back. The squared end will sit in the front. And lift the spring out. Just again to show you, this is how that sear and trigger spring will sit. And I'll show you more on the reassembly. And that's it. Your frame is completely stripped. You can take it apart. Now you can clean it and do whatever you want. If it's unfinished, paint it. But you're done.